Coral began uh, as an organization about 18 years ago when a group of scuba divers uh, noticed that the dive sites that they were visiting were in decline, that they didn't look the same as they used to, that the corals were disappearing and the fishes were disappearing. And they decided to band together to form the Coral Reef Alliance in an effort to save those reefs. At the time, they chose something that was emblematic of their primary interest, scuba diving, to represent the organization in our logo. As we have grown and matured as an organization, we've added many new aspects to our work. Now, in addition to partnering with divers around the world, we work with local communities who rely on coral reefs for things like food, for protection from storms, for tourism. We've also begun to do more and more work that's focused on the science of coral reefs, on the effectiveness of managing MPAs, on learning how we can find solutions for people to live with and interact with coral reefs. And as our organization has grown in its scope and in its sophistication, uh, we recognized that to represent that organization, we need a new symbol. And that symbol is represented in our new logo, which speaks to many different aspects of our work. It speaks to the reef and the organisms that live on the reef. It speaks to the clean, clear waters that are so important to the health of a coral reef. And it speaks to that connection between people and the reef. We're very excited to launch Coral's new logo. When you look at it, the first thing you're likely to notice is that it's in the form of a butterfly fish. Butterfly fishes are probably the uh, most ubiquitous of all coral reef fishes. Every coral reef around the world has butterfly fishes of many different species and shapes and form. Uh, our logo is not a particular butterfly fish, but it is drawing on elements from many different butterfly fishes around the world. What you'll also probably notice is the color and the color is a crystal clear blue, which is not a butterfly fish color. In fact, it's a, a color of clean, clear water, which is so important to the reef environment and a healthy reef. If you look a little bit closer at the logo, what you notice is that some of those shapes, those shapes that evoke the shape of a butterfly fish or the banding pattern of a butterfly fish, uh, also evoke some of the images from the reef itself. You can see corals, soft corals, hard corals. You can see whip corals in those shapes. You can also see a wave. And you can see shapes like the shape of a, of a mollusk shell. And the overall effect, then, is of a butterfly fish that's swimming through a complex matrix of a healthy reef, a healthy reef with clean, clear water on it. But those are only the aspects of the logo that speak to the biology of the coral reefs where we work and what it means to be in a healthy reef system. The logo also has a lot of aspects to it that are human and inspired by human communities. What you might notice overall is that some of the shapes and the form uh, resemble some of the artwork from many of the countries where we work. For example, the overall form is reminiscent of art that you might see in a Polynesian country. But the swirl shape also shows up in many of the countries where we work. For example, it's on rock paintings in Indonesia or in, uh, or in the Caribbean. You may even notice that in the form of the, of the wave in the back of the butterfly fish, there's a circle fish hook, which speaks to the long-term relationship of indigenous peoples uh, to coral reefs as a source of protein and sustenance. So overall, the logo uh, encapsulates many different aspects of our work from the fishes, to the corals, to the connections that people have with this environment. Uh, and as we've looked at this logo, we see more and more in it, and more and more aspects of our work. What do you see in it?